what I'm going to do in this video is set up wordpress.com stats on this wordpress.org site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an Akismet API key. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on here and click on get your key. Click on the big blue get an Akismet API key and I'm going to set it up for personal site only um, because I'm setting this up for Unitarian Church. So I'm just going to put in Unitarian Church just going to put in the site URL. I'm going to put that down to zero and click continue. And there we go. And they've sent on the API key now to my email address. And you can see my new Akismet API key. Now it's very important when you're setting up the WordPress.com stats that you use an Akismet API key specifically for this one site because you can't use the same one for multiple sites when you're using stats tracking. So you actually have to set up a new API key for every different site that you want to track with WordPress.com stats. That's very important. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just go back to where we were doing the setup. So I'm going back to dashboard. I'm going to enter the Akismet API key. I'm going to auto delete spam update. Okay, so that's got that set up. Now what I'm going to do is go to plugins and add new. And if I just look down here in the tag cloud here, I can see stats. So I'm just going to click on stats. And now I'm just going to scroll down here, see can I find the wordpress.com stats. wordpress.com stats smiley remover. wordpress.com stats, that's what I want. So install now and click on activate plugin and here's where it asks us to enter the API key. Now here's why I said you need to enter the API key just for this one blog. Using any other key will lock you out of your stats. So that's the reason why you have to use this specific key. So now I've, I've entered the key. It belongs to this uh, account. So what I'm going to do now is going to click add blog to wordpress.com. So now what it, now what we've got here is we've got the different options. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click on save options. And that's it. So now if we click on dashboard and if we scroll down here we can see stats. So now to see these we've got to log in here. So we have these uh, wordpress.com username and password in the email. So you can see I've just got this blurred out. This is the username. And this is the password that they've given me. And I'm just going to click on remember me and log in. I'm just going to do refresh and if we scroll down here I'm going to click on configure for the stats section. So I'm going to chart by week, show top posts over the last month, show top terms over the last week, show most active posts over the last week and click submit. Uh, if you get annoyed with all these opening up here every time, what you can do is you can close them down like this. Or the other option you have is you can go up to screen options and you can actually just turn them off. And that's under screen options up here in the top right. You can also drag these around so they show more prominently. Now once the site is up and running we'll actually see the statistics here. We'll see how many people have visited on a daily basis and which blog posts and which pages they've they've gone to. So that's how you install WordPress.com stats on your WordPress.org website.